Good morning everybody, here we go again, it's a new week, it is Monday the 4th of January and I'm about to start work, I'm just setting everything up. If I look a bit flushed, actually I don't, I feel flushed more than I am, I'm a bit pink. Um, it's because my car's not working, so we've had to walk Jennifer down to nursery and I'm boiling from walking back, because it's uphill, so. I've opened my bedroom window, it is actually quite cold out, it's actually really nice, I like it like that, it was a nice walk. Um, so he's supposed to come fix my car Wednesday, I think, or take it with him to fix it. He's a bit busy at the moment, which is understandable, it's fair enough. Um, he's just having to walk all the time. It's alright getting it done, it's getting it back. But they do say these things come in threes. I'm going to say they come in fours because the car doesn't work, then on the weekend the printer wasn't working, so I've had to order a new one. And then today the kettle flipped all the sockets off, so we need a new kettle. So we managed to get all the sockets back on by unplugging it and resetting the trip. And that's fine. And I got, um, I bought a new kettle, but then I was giving Paul a hug and I knocked his coffee out of his hand. Fortunately, his cup did not break. This is a good thing. He's had this cup since he was like 16, I think. It's a long time. Um, you know, he's had it a very, very long time. So I'm glad it didn't break. <laughs> I would have been devastated. He wouldn't have been as much as me. Um, I was. De I would have been absolutely de devastated. But yeah, so I'm, uh, I'm on the best of moods. I'm all right, but I'm just like, really, I just want to go back to bed now and hide under the covers. And well, you know, I can't because I got to work. So um, I'm just going to get my stuff set up and get going with it. And I'll see you afterwards when I go and pick up Jen. Hey everyone, it is actually Monday night, and um, yeah, I haven't done any vlogging because not a lot happened. Jennifer was very tired when she got home. Just sat and watched TV, didn't see any all afternoon. I came up here, put my head down and crashed because I was so tired. But I got a new kettle, so yeah, that's working now. Got a kettle. Hooray! Um, let's wait for my printer and I also got Stephen King's Dream Catcher. Now, uh, binge reader Missy um, is doing her annual Stephen King read along. So every year she picks 12 books, sometimes uh, 10 and they have a couple of months off, especially if they're big ones. And you read along and there's a good reads group. And I did it for a couple of years and then I haven't done it for the last two years because of Jennifer and I found it very difficult to read anything, let alone a Stephen King novel. Um, but this year I've decided to do it again. Now there's a couple on her list that I've already read um, during the original times I was doing it. I've got my leg caught in something. There it is. It's just a cable for the phone. And um, so, for instance, one of them is uh, one of the books from the Dark Tower. Um, I've read all that, I'm not going to read all that again, it took a long time, I enjoyed it, don't get me wrong, I probably will read it at some point, that's one, another one was Dreamscapes and Farscapes, I've read that one, and there was another one, Tommy Knockers. I've read that one, and some of them I've read because I've just read them, but Tommy Knockers was one she did previously, but she never finished it, she never read it, same with The Dark Tower, she never finished the series, whereas me, I've, I've finished them. Uh, so I'm not going to read those. So what I'll probably do is look back on previous years that I've missed and pick up one of those books. For instance, It was one I was going to read that I never got around to reading. Um, but I've got a list of them somewhere. Let me see if I can find it and I'll come back. So I've got the list. So January is Dreamcatcher. So I've got that one. February is The Green Mile. Now, I have read that one, but it was a few years ago and I don't own a copy at the moment, so... I'll be getting that one. March is The Long Walk. April is Elevation. May is Institute. June is Tommy Knockers, which I've read, but there are other ones I can use. For instance, it's, it's something with a name in it, I think. Um, so Tommy, and I've read that one, so I'll find something else. Uh, else. July is End of Watch, which is great, because I've read um, the other two in the series, but I haven't read, read End of Watch, End of Watch. September is Dark, oh, sorry, August is Later. September is Dark Tower. I think Later's out this year, so I don't know if I'll read that one, just simply because I like to have a paperback, and, um, I don't know if the paperback will be out by August, if it comes out in April. Um, September is The Dark Tower, which I've read. Um, October is Hearts in Atlantis, which I've read years and years ago, but don't own a copy, so I will happily get that. November is Nightmares and Dreamscapes, which I've read. And December is Different Seasons, which I'm not sure of. I might have. I'll have to look at my Stephen King list of books downstairs. So, yeah, this is all to do with getting back into booktube. So I will be making a few book videos, not many. 
Um, colouring is still my main hobby, it's so relaxing. So most of my videos are going to be colouring, but I will be just doing book wrap ups at the end of the month um, of what I've read, I think. And if I have a TBR, I might uh, film a TBR. And if there's something new I read, I'll do a review. But I'm not gonna get over involved with booktube again, although I do love books, obviously. Um, the one thing about Stephen King is when you're not reading Stephen King, you've had a break, you do forget how big some of his books are. This one is 692 pages. I have started it. I only arrived today. I'm on page seven. But that's mainly because I was reading another book which I wanted to finish before I started this one, which I have. So, so far this year, I've actually read three books. And it's only the 4th of January. So I'm doing really well. So... There you go. That's just because they are short books on my Kindle. I can read them when Jennifer's sitting on me. Um, sometimes it's easier to do that, try and do anything else. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get on now and do a colouring video. And uh, well, that's it really. I'm just gonna, I've gotta find something to colour in yet. I haven't quite decided. I think I'm gonna go with Selena Fennec, but I don't know which book yet. So that's it. I will see you tomorrow possibly yeah tomorrow i'll see you tomorrow you never know there might be a bit more happening it was a bit gray today so i didn't really want to take her out for a walk and of course we've had a long walk there because i still don't have a car but hey it is what it is i'm gonna crack on and i'll see you tomorrow bye guys good morning everybody it is tuesday jennifer's at nursery i'm just setting up for work um filmed my current chat last night it's a long one um as you will have known by now and i'm just uploading it actually um thought i'd get it done in it because it took so long to get the weekly vlog up yesterday that i thought you know what i'm just going to get it uploaded first thing and then i can let it decide with its um ads and stuff and the monetization thing i can just let it get on with it and i don't have to worry about it sorry i'm setting up my computer at the same time as talking to you that's why i'm looking slightly off side so i'm looking for the bit i need there we are that's one i need yeah so there's that i've got um bubaflot calorist on at the moment i'm flushed from walking down the road again still no car kettle's good though he tastes funny this morning i think it's me because I've not long cleaned my teeth, so probably, take, probably that, because the first cup I had was fine. And I'm just going to crack on with the day and see what happens later. Hopefully, um, something will. I've got to take the decorations down today, so. But there you go. So the whole of the UK is in lockdown now, so. I mean, it doesn't bother me. It's just, just, just the same for me as it's been for the last, well, since March, so. I don't mind. But I'd better crack on because it's nearly time to get uh, started. So I will see you when I finish work. So it's a lovely day today, I've finished work and I'm on my way to get Jen. I actually finished early as I had a last attack in the middle of a call. And uh, once it cleared I felt really shaky and bad, so I went to sleep. So, so I'm just off to get her. It's quite a nice day. It's not too bad, hey? Good morning everybody. I didn't wrap up the vlog last night because I'd left the camera downstairs. Not that happened. Got home from the park and then sat with Jennifer, watched some TV. We, we played for a bit before we put the TV on. We were playing, we put the decorations down. She was helping me with that. And then we were playing with this torch she's got, which um, projects dinosaurs on the wall. So we were playing with that. She was like a cat chasing it over the floor. It was really weird. And then we watched some TV. And then my head was so bad. At four o'clock around that, I came upstairs put my head down for half an hour and, and then when I woke up it was much better. Still wasn't 100% right but it was better. It's gone at the moment. I'm not going to say that my sinusitis is gone completely because I know what it's like but I feel much better today. So we've walked Jennifer down. I'm just getting logged in. It's actually nearly time to start and she did not want to get up this morning because she went to bed late so we're waiting for... Um, so we're a bit late getting her down to nursery. However... She's there now, and I'm home setting up. Um, we're so late back, Paul made a cup of tea. Normally I've got time to make a cup of tea, go to the bathroom, do all that good stuff. Paul made it for me um, today, so I could just come out and start getting myself logged on to the system. That's it, just this one now. And then the um, phones, just log in the phones. So, um, our new printer's coming this after, well, this morning. Um, I've had the text message from DPD to say it's arriving between 10 and 11-ish. So that's cool. We'll look at that later. Yeah. 
be interesting to see how it works and um, I'll be able to when I actually put them onto my computer print up some of my um, colouring pages although I did start one last night which was one of the Colour in Heaven subscriber perks I've only actually printed up two or three of those not many at all so there's a few more and I haven't uh, printed up any of the Discovery Club ones so I know I've got all those too but I've got some of them on my memory stick which is over there somewhere but I better get started so I'll see you when I finish and I'll show you this printer when uh, I've finished work and I'm having a look at setting it up hey everyone it's Wednesday night and I've not vlogged at all today again sorry it's just been one of those days uh, work is okay but um, <clears throat> I still got a bit of sinusitis so I've not done anything um, a new printer came and I'll show you that tomorrow and I have used it and it's really cool um, and it's one of those instant ink ones so it'll order ink every time I need it I've subscribed to a certain thing and it'll send me I've got two free I've got two free months anyway so I won't need to pay for that straight away so I'm just printing away getting used to it it's a bit weird but it's a three in one it's a scanner a printer and a photocopier which is cool <sighs> especially at the moment with the uh If we're being, be close. Um, didn't get guy didn't come and get my car today. He says he can't. It's a Friday because he's got so many cars at his house. <sighs> Builder was supposed to come today about doing some bifold doors to separate the living room and the dining room up so that we could both work downstairs. He didn't come either, and also about doing Jennifer's room. He's coming tomorrow because he was too busy. It's just it's just everything. It's just ridiculous. And I've, I just feel like I've had enough today. I mean, with sinuses, is isn't helping. I've still got the headache a bit. It's, every time I bend over, it feels like I've put my head, I, you know, like when you get water up your nose when you're swimming, it feels like that. So I've just, uh, I've had a shower to try and steam it out and it has a little bit, but not brilliantly. I'm going to, I'm giving up um, at the moment on eBay for a bit. I'm, I think I'm going to book a day off and blast through it of my normal job. I've got plenty of holidays. So I might book a morning off. Just book one off. Take Jennifer to school, nursery, and then blast through as much as I can. And then I only say, right, well, I only need to do this amount today, and I need to do this amount today, and then I'll just work my way through it. It's just, I'm just so tired at the moment. And uh, she's she was brilliant this afternoon to be honest we i was sorting out the printer and then she came over with one of her christmas presents which is a, a, a drawing mat it's a water mat you put water on it a picture of his wanting to play with that so we quite happily got that out put it down on the floor and she was happy as larry playing with that for, played with it for ages she did then she stopped and wanted to do something else which was fine and then a bit later on she got it out again which is great so she seems to really like that which is great and i printed her up a, a pepper pig picture to color so we'll probably color that in together uh, another day so I've got lots of printing to do and lots of um, stuff like that but it's also going to be handy when I work on my project I can print stuff off to, to just proofread it and make notes on it and then retype it up which is going to be handy is what I need to do so yeah I'm gonna head off to bed and, and try and read a bit of this Stephen King book because I fancy it and uh, even if it's only a chapter or a few pages it's uh, better than nothing and uh, I am reading a, phone on, a book on my phone as well, so I've got a couple on the go. But that's it for me tomorrow. So another long walk down to the nursery in the freezing cold tomorrow twice, and again on Friday. It could be worse. I'm still healthy. I'm not ill. I mean, I've got a cold and I've got my sinusitis, but that's all linked together. Other than that, we're all healthy, and that's at the moment that is the most important thing. None of us are sick, so I'll take it. I'll take what I've got. It could be a hell of a lot worse and with things that are going on in America at the moment as well I'm very grateful that uh, things are stable here at the moment and uh, I'm I'm warm even though my room's cold because I have the window open um, and I can't stand being hot I'm safe I'm fed and I've got people who love me and I'm grateful so don't think I'm whining I'm not I'm very grateful for what I got uh, it's just my way of just getting it out there and getting it out of my system <laughs> and tomorrow I'll be filming colour and chat so I'm looking forward to that and we'll be doing Doctor Who. So you'll have seen that by the time you see this. So I hope you enjoy that and uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Morning everybody. It is now Thursday. Hooray. It's uh, we only got today and tomorrow and then it's the weekend. We're off on Monday for Paul's birthday. I'm thinking of booking a day off next week to do eBay. So I'm going to look at the rotor when I get in. 
with all this walking, I'm just too tired to do it. I mean, the walking's great, it's doing me a lot of good, but it's making me sleepy, it's making me tired, which it should do, it's wearing me out, it's exercise, I'm sleeping better. So I'm not complaining, apart from that, my back's aching, um, but that's just because I'm not used to it, and I'm a bit big up top, as you know. Uh, so, uh, I might book a, a day off next week to blaster as many photographs as I can, and then I can just, once I'm into the flow of it again, by doing that, kickstart me i'll be fine i did have a good sale last night i sold a pair of shoes for 20 quid at all profit because chris has ne chris gave them to me he'd never worn them so it's great i've got to do my accounts i haven't done that since december sometime just setting up my laptop for work now as it's uh, near time to start and uh yeah we'll see what the day is it's freezing outside it's very frosty i don't think it felt that cold walking to be honest it felt colder yesterday and there was less frost but it's really frosty today very icy um, so I'm glad I didn't have to drive the car today because I'd have had to have scraped it. But uh, yeah, we'll just see what happens. Um, <sighs> yeah, I'll show you the, the printer later. I did print this off. I don't know whether I've coloured this one or not because um, I've got some of these pattern books. This is from Jade Summer 100. Greatest hits. I've just got to put it in my uh, pile of uh, prints to print offs to do. Um, it prints really nicely and it's instant ink. So every time it gets low, it'll just order me a new cartridge. So it's pretty cool. Anyway, I am going to crack on with work. I'll see you afterwards. Let's hope. I might remember to vlog tonight and see what Jennifer wants to do when we get her own. Hopefully, it won't be watch TV. She was pretty good yesterday. She played for ages um, with the TV off. It, then we put it on for a little bit. And then we turned it off. Because she wanted to come upstairs. So we turned it off when we came upstairs. She came upstairs. And... Uh, it was off when we went back down and because it, it was close to you, refused to put it back on. She cried for a bit, but soon found someone else to entertain herself with and she ate all the tea, so it does show that it's better to have the TV off. Right, better crack on. I'll see you when I finish work. Okay, guys, it is uh, Thursday evening. It's probably about eight o'clock, just gone. Paul's knackered. He's gone to bed. He's had a very busy day. He's had three meetings today and uh, stuff like that, so... I haven't done any eBay, but I have booked off Tuesday from work. So on Tuesday, sorry, the lights in the. I will be doing a lot of uh, photographing. Now I'm in the shed because I have had a sale. It is absolutely freezing. So just checking this is the it is the right item. Um, so I sold a pair of shoes. Uh, I think I mentioned it. I've just come to get them. I'm going to take them down into the house because it's far too cold. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to get all the stuff I need and I'll be back. I have got what I need and I'm going to head back down to the house now. It's very dark, as you can see. Out here. There's a house. Now there is snow forecast and rain. It's not doing anything yet. So I'm going to lock the shed up. It's getting better. The uh, dehumidifier bags are working, which is great. And uh, um gonna the thing is I need to get this sorted out obviously that bed frame is Jennifer's bed when she goes into it that'll be going up soon hopefully and she'll be in a proper bed so that'll get rid of that and I can get in and sort out the back my hat my full mannequin is up here because I've got space for it at the moment but uh, I will use it again here's an Amazon box that needs to be broken down and some other boxes I need to sort out do we need to come up here and sort some stuff out so I'll, I'll, I'll do a lot of photographing and I'll try and get up here and sort some stuff out on Tuesday but uh, I am going to head back I have got three items I can list I've just got to finish getting them ready so I might do that as well right back in it's cold out here okay, guys I've packed my order it's ready to go Jennifer's sound asleep I've just covered her up because she's kicked the blankets off it's gone really cold Paul's asleep I've just finished um filming my Doctor Who colouring chat. Oh, it's going to take ages to do. I'm just being so pernickety with the colours on the costumes. So, but that's that's okay. That's you know I'm I want it to look right and I don't want to ruin it. So uh, they said snow. Still no snow. I don't think no. Still no snow. Just very very cold. So I am going to. I'm just uh, going to get this editing. I'm just getting a, another one. Um, it's uploaded. It's just waiting for the ads to be checked. It, to be checked for monetization. So I might have to put that on later. Uh, 
and I'm going to find my Stephen King book, which is around here somewhere, and I'm going to read for half an hour before I go to sleep. It's Friday tomorrow. Oh, do you know how good that feels? It is Friday. Last day in work. Till Wednesday. So because I booked today off to do eBay, like I said, so that's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to that. Um, got a builder coming around to look at Jennifer's room Saturday. Because our usual builder, his plasterer is shielded in, so he can't do it. So we're going to have somebody else. I'm not waiting for three or four months till he's had his vaccination. It could be ages before he gets it, so I'd rather just... It needs doing. She needs her room sorted, painted, decorated, and a proper bed up. She's getting too big for the cot. She's ready for a proper bed. She doesn't move around as much. The only problem is she's going to want to come in here every day. Eee. Never mind. It is what it is. I'm going to head off. I'll see you tomorrow. Who knows what's going to happen on Friday. Guys, it's Friday night and it's been a real washout day for vlogging. I'll admit again. Just haven't been doing much. I've been reading. I've actually read two books today. I'm really back in the reading zone. It's brilliant. I haven't been like this for so long. And the reason is because of Jennifer. But I find I'm reading a lot of books on my phone. In fact, we're on December the 8th and I've read six books this month already. And I'm loving it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to sit and read a bit of Stephen King in a minute and eat some chocolate covered Turkish delight. <laughs> I'm in bed. How decadent. But I'm also going to be looking at one of my favourite websites while I upload a video and that is a site called opacity.us or opacity. So uh, this is a guy named Mr. Moss. His name is Tom and he goes around various places, mostly in America, but he does do the world when he can. Taking photographs of abandoned buildings inside, outside, whatever you can get. His photography is stunning. Um, I haven't looked at it for a while. I discovered him over 10 years ago. I was working at Yale 118247 at the time when I first discovered his photos. I used to look at them in between courts because we were allowed to look at the internet in between courts, so it wasn't a problem. Um, Hugo. Oh, God, I love it. Some of his photographs are absolutely so stunning. And you can actually buy them from him as well. He actually works in IT. I think he's a programmer of some description. But his photography is absolutely amazing. Very inspiring. I love it. It's how I got into the whole urbexing thing. I can't remember how I discovered him. But if you want to look at some old abandonments, I'm about to, to look at one, uh, which is the old Taylor's Distillery. I don't know where that is, somewhere in the US. And there's another one, which is an old Packard plant. Uh, Packard was uh, a maker car, uh, which I'm going to look at in a minute. Um, but yeah, he does hospitals and asylums, um, hotels, um, industrial schools, churches all sorts and the photos are beautiful um there is a running uh, one of the running joke years ago i don't know if it's still going because i haven't read the comments i will read the comments on this one about a, a light pop and a soap dispenser <laughs> it was quite funny uh, he made an error on a photograph saying that the light bulb was very low and it was actually a soap dispenser. So, and there's pictures of light bulbs. Oh, look, a new soap dispenser. It's a big, it was quite a funny thing on the community at the time. So I, I really want to get back to it now. So it's, it's, again, it's one of those things I've missed. But yeah, so I'm going to have a look at that, eat some chocolate, and then I'm going to sit down and read some more of my Stephen King. I am not very far through it because it is a huge book. I'm only on page 50, but I am working through it a little bit uh, every night. So I'm enjoying it. There's something stuck inside it. It's probably chocolate. But yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow, Saturday. Um, next week, I've got two days off. I said I booked Tuesday for... Um, ebay though i might have to take my dad to newport because he needs to go and have a hearing test at Specsavers. yes i know that sounds like they do hearing as well and um, my mum's put him a test so i will have to i said i don't want him driving if his hearing's playing up um so i will drive him and i don't want him going on the bus because of covid so i'm gonna go and stop waffling i've done a bit of coloring today so don't worry i'm trying to upload a video at the moment which hopefully you will have seen um, but that's it. I will see you where you want to go sometime tomorrow. I say it's a week for vlogging, but it's going to be a very short one. Just looking at this um, uh, distillery photograph of a, a corridor in the entrance. You can see the light bulbs, but the globes that would have 
gone round like bulbs have gone. And here is a um, soap comment. Uh, the globes are out to be refilled with soap. This running joke has been going on for over 10 years. I mean, it's so funny. In fact, he would have been photographing this, this location when I first started following him because these photos from 2010. He's got so many. Oh, it's a great website. You should totally check it out. Um, love it. I, I think I prefer the photography and photo still images of urban exploration rather than the ones of the YouTube videos. Though I do like some of the YouTube videos. Not so much the exploration because it's, it's always very... Sometimes the, the people are very jerky and because they're walking around and whispering and I hate that. But, uh, you know, sometimes if, if you've got a good a person who's really good at it, like Steve Ronan yeah i can i quite happily can just sit and watch his videos there's no issue with them at all he's such a good videographer and he knows what he's doing um but there's some of them it's just so jerky and and it's not it's not very good i do prefer to look at the photographs because i i like taking photographs myself but yeah so the soap joke is still ongoing i've just eaten a crisp it's saturday afternoon there's been no vlogging in fact bugger all's happening it's a nice chilled day Builder came round to look at the Jennifer's room about plastering it. He's going to come back with a quote in a couple of days. He's good. He's um, who Paul's mum's been using. Jennifer's watching Peppa Pig. Paul's having a lie down. I had one when he took Jennifer out to the PARK and the SHOP. And um, yeah, nothing's happening. I'm just sitting here. Looking at memes and um, watching Peppa Pig with Jennifer. I'm hoping one day she'll actually let me out. She watch my my DVDs, which is this one. And, and there's the top of the Pringles. And this one, but I doubt it. And it won't be tonight because there's football on. So, no, I don't want one, Jennifer. Thank you. No, no, I don't want it. I don't want a crisp. It made me choke last time. You eat it up. She wants me to have a crisp and I don't really want it, but... Uh, <laughs> you say hello? Oh! Who's that? It's you. Look. Yeah, anyway, um, yeah. Football tonight, but I said I'm going to sit down here and do some colouring and then... If I feel up to it, I might try and watch one then. I really want to. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, it's Sunday night, everybody's in bed. I've just had a shower, so I'm just drying my hair. As you can see how long my roots are now. They're down to, well, quite quite long. And um, my hair is getting very long. As soon as I'm able to, I think I'll get it trimmed. I'm not gonna have it cut short. I'm not gonna dye it, because that take, means I'd be spending too long in the salon and I couldn't cope with a mask that long. I mean, I know they say when you get older, you should have your hair cut short, because it makes you look younger, but I like my hair. My mum's still got long hair and she's 76. So I'm just going to sit in bed, um, finish drying my hair and then I'm going to snuggle up and watch some videos on YouTube, I think. <coughs> Excuse me, I stiffly nose, I'll get tissue in a sec. Terrible, ain't I? Done a bit of colouring tonight, Paul watched the football, so that's good. And, um, yeah, God, look at the grey. Getting old now, getting old. Been the maiden, I'm now the mother, and soon I'll be the crone. <laughs> anyway, enough of that nonsense. So, like I said, this is a very, very, very short vlog, but hey, that's what happens. Sometimes nothing happens in a week. You know, I tell you what happens if anything interesting happens in the world. I mean, obviously, with what was going on in the States the other week, I'm not going to bring that up because I think it was horrendous. Whatever side of the fence you fall on, it's, it's horrendous. Um, yeah. And I'm just going to carry on being real. And sometimes things don't happen. So tomorrow's Sunday shopping day. I have to go uh, with my dad because my car has now been taken by the mechanic. Love him. Oh, I love him. He's waiting seven day weeks at the moment. He's a mate more than a, you know, that's why I use him, you know, to give him work rather than, you know. But I mean, all I need to do is take my car battery off in the morning, put it on charge overnight and then bring my car back. Or put it on all day and then bring it back tomorrow night when he finishes work. But at the moment he's working seven seven days at his day job and then he's got cars at his own home that he fixes for for friends like he does for me so 
you know big jobs he takes to his main garage but it's I do feel for him it's just the, that time of year everybody's really busy builders are busy for some reason and so are mechanics so but I'm finished dry my hair and head off to YouTube land I'm gonna put it on the phone I don't really want to put the TV on and my laptop my lap top is downstairs so because I was using it down there for something earlier so that's it for tonight so that's Saturday night there was no quiz the quiz we wanted to do um if you were wondering has now been moved to the 23rd of January and it's the big fat quiz of the 80s which is why we wanted to do it but it's been moved so I'm assuming they didn't sell enough tickets or they moved it for a reason for something I don't know but we'll um we'll do it then anyway I'll see you tomorrow bye good morning everybody it's Sunday and we have a power cut so there's no power in the street in fact most of Sign is affected it's supposed to come on again about half past 12. I'm getting ready to go shopping Paul's gonna hoover with Jennifer, good luck with that. And we got our new mat on the floor, our new rug. As you can see, it's all books. It's so cute. Jennifer loves it. It's lovely and soft. Do you like the mat, Jen? Yeah, mat. Like the mat. Good girl. Come back from in there. You can't make the TV work. All the power's off. So, as I haven't got a car, I'm gonna ring my dad now and get him to come and get me. And we're going shopping. La, great. You playing with your musical mat? <laughs> Look at that belly. And he walks into a drum kit. Boom. So she's pressing the button, didn't she? Off, on. <laughs> Guys, it's the end of the week. Everybody's in bed except for me. I'm just sitting in colouring. It's about 10, 10 p.m. I'm just in a, a colouring mood. I bought the uh, Relax With Art Issue 75. Which is this one. So I've started yet another one. I've got so many whips on the go. But it is only the, not the ninth. It's the ten, no, it's the tenth. It's the eleventh tomorrow's Paul's birthday. So, you know, I don't mind it. And I've started the dances. And I'm working on my sky. Doing it a sunset sky. It reminds me kind of like Tenerife and that sort of thing. And Spain. And nice holiday. So I thought I'd colour that in. I'm just going to do the sky and then I'm going to go up to bed myself and get this edited together because it takes forever. And then obviously tomorrow it'll be uploaded and we'll be doing it all again. So hopefully this coming week there'll be a more, bit more going on. I've got my car back. I need to get diesel and I need to put some air in the tyre. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. I have got to write out Paul's birthday card before I go to bed. So I will. And then... Um, we got tomorrow off so hopefully well there's mum's coming up but we will take Jennifer out on, for a walk in the morning so she uses up some energy um, I bought her some clothes today I managed to get some pyjamas because she's long in the body in the top half so we're tops are riding up so I need to get her t-shirts but I've got pyjamas today and a, a, a coat and I always get her a size bigger because she wears a jumper under it so she's I've, she's in three to four now and she's not quite three so i've got her a four to five coat which is really big but that's okay it'll be perfect for next year it was in the sale so she's only going to be she's only a kid so she's really not going to uh worry about trends and stuff yet so um what else is happening this week well i've got tuesday off to do ebay um so I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm going to just literally try and photograph as much as possible. I've got a little bit of stuff to check on eBay and I've got to do my accounts as well. Um, then Wednesday's back to work. So, no, not going on. I'm reading. I have read now eight books, I think, and I'm on nine. They are just Kindle books. So I find I read very quickly if it's on the Kindle because I can read anywhere. So I can lie in bed and read, I can sit down here, I can hold Jennifer on my lap and read, you know, so with a book, so for instance Stephen King, which I can read in bed if I find it down here somewhere, 
and I brought it down to reading. I'm not very far into it. As you can see, I think I'm still on page 50. I didn't read any last night. Yeah, page on 50 still. So I'm going to go upstairs and lie in bed and read a little bit of that before I go to sleep. And I've got my bookmark in it. So I take it out because I know I'm on page 50, which says book. <laughs> which I got when I was booktubing. So if you want to uh, me to do a video, I'm going to do a, a wrap up video anyway of what I've read because this is the first month. I've really actually read a lot for a long, long time. So yeah, I'll probably do a booktube wrap up. I'm not going to be doing haul book hauls because I'm not buying them. The only book I plan on buying towards the end of this month is Green Mile, ready for the Stephen King a thong next. Thong. I always got a Stephen King a thong. Stephen King a thon uh, next month. Uh, so I've got to get through this one first. Only 612 pages to go. But, but that's okay. And I'm watching a booktuber named Steve Donahue, who's one of my favourites. He's really good. Battery's dead, so it's a good time to stop. And I'll say goodnight from this very short vlog, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.